Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. I want to apologize for being later than usual. Um, basically, stuff. Uh, but anyway, moving on. Um, I want to, I hope you all had a great weekend and are looking forward to the week ahead of you. Uh, before we get properly started, uh, with continuing more Assassin's Creed Syndicate, um, I just want to quickly remind you all that I have a Patreon where you can support me if you like this content. Or may if you don't, maybe you can help influence the content going forward, if you so choose. <coughs> Let's get out of the street where people can't just randomly attack me like they were about to. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, patreon.com slash crimson night, a place where you can support me and help affect my content going forward, etc., 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 so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, that's enough of that. Let's get back into ooh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now, now, just a quick, quick, a quick, just a queef, um, just a quick overview. Um, I have done some leveling up, as you can see. Um, <coughs> <coughs> we are now level eight, as opposed to level six, I think it was when we ended last, uh, last week. Um, I have mostly uh level appropriate gear mostly it's all for either level seven or eight um like i think my cane is level eight yeah Ooh, i could upgrade that do i want to upgrade that hmm how's it good to this there is a where was it i lost it there it is there's a plus one difference. Hmm. Okay, I'm actually going to upgrade, spend my 5,000 pounds to upgrade the cane. So that it's at least on par with the level seven thing I was using before. Oh, damn it, that's not what I wanted. Don't do that. All right. Close enough. You know, close enough. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, uh, I've done, I've crafted everything I can craft for now. I need to find the rest of the blueprints for that. Um, oh, I already showed you skills, gang upgrades. As you can see, I've done a decent bit with these as well. Um, I have gotten this entire column, as you can see, um, and some of this column. My current goal is to get... 12,000 and then another 16,000 after that and then and then once I've got that then I'll worry about the rest of this stuff those are my priorities because those will make getting the rest of it much easier um and then other than that I have done a decent bit of perk grinding I still have a long way to go um mainly what I'm going to be trying to focus on when streaming are the knife kills we're throwing a knife from cover to kill an enemy from cover um because there's so many of those um and uh man like basically i'm going to be doing as many of these in 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 stream as i can but like i'm also not going to break my back about it basically um other than other than that we do have um some present day material I want to read through with Assassin's Intel. Uh, we had 11 of them, I believe, or seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it was seven of them. I could be wrong. Yeah, I had seven. Okay. And now they're, <laughs> now they're in proper order. Anyway. Isabel, what a lovely surprise. Are you recording it? Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to wait until I have them all. Now that I think about it. So that way we can get the entire storyline all at once. So, yeah. All right. So. Oh, 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 oh. I also forgot. Progress tracker. 
as you can see, I now have 100% on all the things that we've actually done. Um, so, as you can see here. If I've done them, they've been 100%ed. The gold ring around them, which is what that means. Um, but yeah. Uh, and uh, in the map, map, I have perfectly cleared <clears throat> Whitechapel of everything but memories, as you can see. I have cleared the Tims of everything, 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 if you look at it. Um, I have cleared Lambeth of everything but memories. And I have not really done much in any of the other four locations. Um, the next one I believe should be, let's see, Southwark is just at five, six, 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 eight, nine. So four, five, six. Okay. So the next one I should work on is Southwark. It's just I didn't really take the time for it, uh, over the weekend, uh, because I had other stuff I needed to do too. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that pretty much catches you up. We have a mission here on the train where uh, Jacob has received a, a letter of some kind. Um, it hasn't exactly... I, I, I think it has to do with sequence 8, which is the final sequence of the whole thing. So I'm not going to mess with it until then. Uh, until we're ready for it, basically. Um, it's just that every now and then when I pop up in the train, they're going to be like, Jacob, you've received a letter. You know, anyway, one of the first things I'm going to do today, though, with, um, because I realized that I don't actually remember what happens if we go into this area for the first time. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel to near there and we are going to go poke our heads in there and see why I've been gathering those music boxes. Oh well. I still got the two knife throw kills. Nothing? Fuck off, copper. Hey, cab! Promise? Be up to much good. <laughs> strange girl. You're a strange get into cover. Girl, get. I swear to God, get into cover. Is she gone? She's not gone. Okay. Yeah. Dude, move! God, that guy was right in the fucking way. Alright. Move. One of the interesting things that I discovered um, while trying to perk hunt in the over the weekend is that um, I cannot, or supposedly, 
unless I lock the game into 60 FPS, there's one perk that I that won't properly count, and so won't uh, get won't actually be earned. Um, and it's kind of annoying, but yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it on stream, basically. This is Michelle Rouge's vault. <gasps> Michael Rouge's vault? It can't be. You have no idea who that is, do you? I'm the foggiest. He was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Legend says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London, in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Special musical boxes? Now who's mad? So, I've already collected a decent number of these, um, comparatively. There's about four-ish in each district, um, ish. Spirits white as lightning would, would on my travels guide me. The stars would shake and the moon would quake whenever they espied me. Oh, these are, um, clues, I bet, into how to find them. <sighs> yeah. So like Yeah, it shows a little picture. Which is funny cuz 90% of these there's no way that they've been sitting here long enough to uh you know? Anyway. I just fast travel away from this. Alright. Um. Dear, what do we want to do first? Well, we've got some stuff up here in Whitechapel to do. We've got Karl Marx memory and Charles Dickens memory. Let's do Char. Let's get old Charlie Dickey. Cheeky Dickey. Relax, mate. Listen to me. I have been ordered to keep your rallies off the streets. No, you must listen to me. The people in this city are in dire need of your assistance. Oh, you are Jacob Fry, are you not? And Miss Fry. We're at a disadvantage, sir. Karl Marx. Much like you, I am an activist of sorts. You've got the look of a man who wants something. Indeed. You've done more for London citizens lately than any endeavor has accomplished in a decade. But those citizens were already well provided for. I challenge you both to help those who really need your assistance, the working people. An interesting challenge. We accept. Shouldn't we at least talk about these things for... Sod it. We accept. 
<laughs> You're not the one in charge, Jacob. Just face I'm it. I'm organizing a discreet meeting with some like-minded friends to discuss trades unions. Alas, the police seem to have noticed my activities. They've stuck to me like flies on Shizer. In any case, I need you to help me get to the meeting without the interference of the police. I have to kill spy two spies with a hanging barrel. You see? There's one of their damn spies now. Are you mad? Come on. <laughs> I think I overcorrected that, basically. Load in. He says no. Here we go. See? There's one of their damn spies now. Come on! God fucking titties. I hit the thing twice and it said nope. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Box. Oh, are you you waiting on me?
I'll be there. You know, I had similar problems with the police in Paris. Well, Paris and Brussels. And also, perhaps Cologne. Our next worthy ally awaits us in a nearby pub. <laughs> Onwards. No doubt the police already have agents stationed within. I'll wait here until the coast is clear. should know about. I believe our work here is complete. Come, let's slip away and get mail. to the meeting. I do appreciate your assistance in this matter. Only when workers are able to assemble freely and in strength will we be able to achieve the reforms we most assuredly deserve. Might I trouble you to stay nearby until the meeting is over? I fear we may yet meet with some mischief. I told you, Marks will be here. Heard it from the man's own lips. Now about my payment. You'll get your 30 pieces, chum. Don't you worry. It seems the movement is ever doomed to be betrayed from within. Will you fetch the gentleman back here? I would look him in the eye and ask why he went back on his brethren. Money. Greed. Plain and simple. Also fear a bit, probably. I don't know, was I supposed to do that? 
Okay, it didn't say like don't kill the cops or something like that. Don't kill the coppers. Don't kill the coppers. I missed my exit. Come on, turn around. There you go, Evie. Yes, dear. Let's go, dear. to do this thing. Has the party not taken care of you? Governor of the Mill Sea, any man what joins a union will be put out of work come sun up. How long will the party feed my family for? If we do not stand together, we are lost. My heart is broken, Simon. Please go. I thank you, my friend. I hope you will continue to aid the struggle when the opportunity presents itself. One skill point. Damn it. I only have one. Okay. Alright, let's go see how Charles Dickens is doing, shall we? While investigating a haunted carriage, a weary assassin receives a personal letter from a complete stranger. You seem tired, friend. Everything all right? There's always too much work to do. Today's Ghost Club investigation involves a carriage. It's said to be covered with gold leaf, dazzling passers-by when the sun shines. Actually, it's rumored to be haunted. Now let's see if we can find it. The Royal Mail coaches vanished when the post began to be transported by rail. Oh, I'd rather enjoy a sit-down. But duty calls. Mm. 
That's curious. Love letter. My darling Fry, how I how I long to be in your arms again. Ever since our last meeting, I have been racked with loneliness. Your absence drives me to despair. I implore you, return to me at once. I long to see you and hear your voice. Do not delay. I await your arrival and offer myself to you completely. Your very own Elizabeth. Oh. Bossy. my life. I am Elizabeth. Won't you climb down and sit beside me so that I might see your face? Wait here. Sure, sure you didn't, Devon. Where is she? I cry for help. My dearest mama and papa, 
By the time you read this, I shall likely be dead. I cannot marry the Marquis, for I love another. I must escape this brutal tyrant, but I know that, <clears throat> but I know that if I do, he will hunt me down. I am so afraid. I love you. Goodbye. Your daughter, Elizabeth. Hi, Yvonne. How are you doing? You didn't pout. No, I bet I know what you did. You fell asleep, didn't you? You look as though you're just about to collapse. What on earth has happened? Just a dream. Or so I think. Uh-huh. So you did forget. Because you fell asleep. <laughs> it was intentional sleep. It was fully intentional. All right, so we did those. Do we have anything down here? Well, we have sequence five. Sequence five. Uh huh. Uh huh, Yvonne. Uh huh, sure. By the way, hi, science. Um,. Friendly competition. Leave fr Jacob's friendly competition is here. Oh, the train's not far away. Yvonne, you always think you're going to be up earlier than you ever are. You need to take however long that you initially thought you'd be up. And then add like two more hours Seems after a letter that. Has come for Jacob. Solid okay. You're putting a bit of stick of it. I mean, am I wrong? I wrong it. Now that that is true. Hello, Mox. Don't mind me, I'll bother with you later. Oh, well that definitely looks like a Jacob party over there. Away. Yes, may I? Oh, splendid. You're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a prize. Is this enough? I'm not here to kill you. 
And what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. I have a business proposition for you. Wonderful. Come with me. We have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Truer words were never spoken. Damn. Damn. <laughs> if you'd be so kind as to take the reins. You must understand I've received threats against my life. Malcolm Miller has all but waged war on me since Mr. Starrick bought out his company. And no offense, I hope, but you do look the king. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. What then is your interest in redemption, Mr. Fry? I sense an opportunity that will benefit us both. Do you? Is that so hard to believe? Whatever your intentions, it will be quite the tonic to strike back against Milner and Starrick. I have words on the truth to make Atway. That's one of Milner's. Yeah! Yeah! I fucked that up. I pushed the wrong button. Reload last checkpoint. Yvonne, you probably missed it because of the ad, but uh, Jacob introduced himself to this chick and, she, and he said, Jacob Fry, at your service. And she said, mm. she basically said, damn right you are. <laughs> She she basically said, actually, you know what? You know what? We're not that far into the memory. Let me just restart it because it was perfection. Miss Attaway. Yes, may I? Oh, splendid. You're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a prize. Is this enough? I'm not I here to her. kill you. And what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. I have a business proposition for you. Wonderful. Come with me. We have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Truer words were never spoken. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> At your service. Truer words were never spoken. I love her. Give me just a second. I have to do a thing over here. All right. <laughs> If you'd be so kind as to take the reins. You must understand I've received threats against my life. Malcolm Miller has all but waged war on me since Mr. Starrick bought out his company. And no offense, I hope, but you do look the killer. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. What then is your interest in my redemption, Mr. Fry? I sense an opportunity that will benefit us both. Do you? Is that so hard to believe? Whatever your intentions, it will be quite the tonic to strike back against Milner and Starrick. I have worked. That's one of Milner's. I can't lose another God damn, they just outright murdered him right then and there. God damn. Fucking kill him quick, don't they? Jesus Christ. How am I gonna do this? 
They kill him before I can catch up to him. God damn it. Yeah, no, they instant murder him. Insta murder him. God damn. No, I don't think so. I think it's up I think it's the lack of me actually being there. go I don't know I don't know what was different that time Malcolm Milner, Starek's puppet himself. Careful, you twats! This park scene needs to make it to the outway depot. <laughs> he thinks he can burn my buses. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's give him the whole damn bottle. <laughs> we'll turn Milner's park scene against him. But I'll need help from my gang. Such entrepreneurial instinct, Mr. Fry. <laughs> <clears throat> I shall leave you to it. <laughs> Tell me something. Jacob, get into cover, my dude. I want to. Fine. They're investigating out there. Come on. 
Cover. There you go. Ho, Jacob. Primed and ready. No? Okay. In that case, we're just gonna push the button. Run! already. You're hired. Oh, I have more business planned for us both. Drop a note to my secretary to make an appointment, and I shall review the next step in our scheme. I don't actually work. Like that. for progression lock that's right okay. right two is a ned mission it looks like but it's another jacob okay there apparently oh a skill block What is that for? No, that's just three. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You promise? Come on. Thanks. Join me. Coming 
Jack? Oh, I have to play it. <laughs> I was just gonna kick my way in the door if it would let me. Mr. Fry, I told you to make an appointment. My schedule was open. You're fortunate I like you. <laughs> Internal combustion engine. Eight small syllables that mean a great deal of money. The engines will be delivered to Milner by train. Secure them for me, and he will be... devastated. Hmm. I'll need a second train to pull this off. And I think I know just the man. So we have a deal, Mr. Fry? You're fortunate I like you, Miss Attaway. I like that necklace of hers. And they very much are two co two people of the same ilk, you know? Do not kill a single policeman from the convoy. Okay, that's... I can knock him out. Can't kill him. Damn. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it then. Let's go. Don't drink, eh? Just don't give a shit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh fuck, there's a copper right behind him. <clears throat> so, what do you want, Fry? What makes you so sure I want something? Perhaps I saved you out of the kindness of my own heart. <laughs> Come on, let me tell you about the job. Miller's pulling a lot of cargo there. Just be sure to make the transfer. Give him help. How you doing? The internal combustion engine. The end of horse-drawn transport. <laughs> it's like gazing into the future. Man, what is the going rate You're for dead? the future, do you think? Uh, we're not selling them. You're giving them to your contact? You'd be paid all the same. <laughs> Who is this Pearl, anyway? How long have you been working with her? She's a business partner. That's all you need to know. Well, it sounds to me, Rose, like you need to take like you need to get some rest.
jings. I hope I didn't make it too, laddie da. Slap some gold leaf here and there. I gave the wood a splash of shellac. I've holstered the lot. And how do you like the lampshades? A letter for me. Fair. Very fair. Jacob, good to see you. Talk to Carl again. Now, where is she at? Right there. This business is none of yours, Brick. Jacob, darling, do join me. To our fruitful partnership. And to the shiny new engines now in my possession. Back to business. Milner's fled to the Thames, occupied with securing his ferry. I think she just it's tried to poison him because she didn't drink, mm, I don't think. Protected it with his life, no doubt. The very thing I want you to take. <laughs> just kill him. That's not your first glass of champagne, is it? Success is more intoxicating than alcohol, Mr. Fry. Then save a glass for me. Yeah, she didn't... She didn't drink, I don't think. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was some kind of a drug now, or something that she was trying to poison him with. The sight of his fairies in flames, perhaps. Do not touch the river.
Terrorists, don't get my feet wet. to sink Milner's enterprise. Damn it, Jacob. Okay, well, I actually successfully did not. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, shoot, hi. Put that down. Nice. I think I'd heard about that. Got him in my sights. Run away, Hoffman. you to do right there fucking hell fine get off the geometry go around the damn corner cut it down that should be good enough now just have an ad break hold on a second how frequently is, is are my ads set that's a lot hold on hold on
Hmm. No, it's it's what I set it to. Weird that it feels like it's very frequent. Huh. Whatever. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. Twitch sometimes just changes the frequency. I guess. Maybe. It's possible. I... I don't know. Yeah, apparently. If that's the ads y'all are getting. I mean, filing your taxes is important. Get the IRS on your ass. I lost the engines. 
So this is my comeuppance. Pearl Attaway led me to you, not Staric. Then they were gonna gather again. I should never have come between Mr. Staric and Miss Attaway. Family always stay together in the end. What do you mean, their family? Yeah. She thought he was there to kill her because he was an assassin. She could tell by looking at him. It's Templars. Time for Pearl and I to have a real conversation. Right? I do that every freaking time, too. These are a few of my favorite things. talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that dude had a fucking outline of his head and hat with how many times I fucking missed my shots on him at that close of a range. God damn. Come on, Jacob. Put some Looney Tunes shooting. This is scandalous. Scandal? What? I'm always up for a good scandal. Helping the Templar cause. Isn't that delicious? It's sickening. It's business, cousin. Look at the big picture. With Milner gone, I own the only omnibus company left in London. You blow it too much, cousin. You will get your engines back. Our new motorized buses will bring us both a lot of money. I'll need to arrange proper transport for the engines to get back to my factory. I want you at Waterloo, personally, to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Of course. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Today, I'm going to have a future cousin. Poor Jacob. Waterloo Station. Because you know he was getting a bit of a crush on her. Just give it a shot. Did 
they were both flirting incredibly hard. I mean, something, something, something betraying the ethics of his order and family and all of that and also he would never be able to live it down uh from evie if he was able to if he screwed the, a templar and then had to kill her you know evie would never let it li let him live it down Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Harold Attaway. This is what I'm looking for. What's the next one? Evie and Jacob visit Alexander Graham Bell in his laboratory to continue their fight against Stark. All right, well, in that case, I'm swapping to the correct Fry Twins. The only correct answer here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, execution. We'll swap back to him so that I can level him up. The same thing. I'm a mess. I know. I'm sorry. I'm not, but I am. Can I play through only play through the whole game as only one twin? Yes and no. So when you're out and about in the free world and not on a mission, you can play as whomever you want. The only time there are times where the game forces you to be one of the twins or the other. And those missions are indicated by the symbols on the maps so this isn't this one with the little hood right here that's an evie fry mission um i don't currently have any more jacob ones but his have a top hat um and if you show up as the other twin at either of those it will automatically swap you over to that twin but other than outside of those specific missions which are story missions um for instance uh these three were required jacob because they're jacob offers uh with the help of ned jacob plans jacob and pearl have been you know and uh it's ones where they say evie and jacob or just evie where it's one way or the other um etc 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 now the rest of them free game totally free game however you want to do it all right we were going to go see alex mr grambell mr grambell let me do what i wanted to do I do need to visit the store. There's a store on the way to him. Good. All right. Uh, do we have anything else to do in this specific spot? No, not at the moment. Yvonne, I blame you. I mean, it's not your fault. It's the game's fault. But I blame you. 
Though that said, it's it's better than the other songs I've had stuck in my head the last few days. You won't find You know the ones. Have a good day now. Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrett keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. Well, his company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh, dear. You never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, toss one near the thugs. Right, then. Oh, uh, oh wait. Uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots, and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. I think. In other words, you won't electrocute yourself with these bombs. true as the notion that the Staric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? You know, yeah. his promises are nothing but hot air. His operations are about to turn pear-shaped. What you going on about air and pears for? He made a he made a sink bomb. Don't buy me! Oh kids, eh? Those playful young scamps get everywhere. Pear shaped massive fart. The stankiest stank you've ever st that's ever stunk. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, I would ask you in for tea, because I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, in we best. You got one of them telly what's it's in here, ain't ya? You? You've been 
reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but haughty. His operations are about to turn. Here, shaked. <laughs> Scamps get everywhere. Listen up, Bell, or I'll thump you till your ears are ringing. Oh, a pun. Your word play delights me. And to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkeys, apples. <laughs> apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, you dropped another one, Bill. You <coughs> little sod. Well, I ain't me, Bez. Oh, oh, go blimey, it's got me frown. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. That one probably smelled like donkey's apples. Right. Tell us where you keep that telly what's it. I'll count to three. Three? Well, well. Let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? Telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. Thanks to you, Evie. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve. I never knew I had. I know a dead body. I'm glad I, I could help. One. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. Apparently, they did think it was a fart. keep static from spewing out false information the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations i agree the sooner we can get there the quicker we can act would you believe my mother says there are still some waves in her street that swear by that so i took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious drive that's good alec but you can't go round to every household in london town no it wasn't always welcome Shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives' profanities at Billingsgate. Or vermin at Smithfield. But if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get in without being detected, Mike. I shall stand them while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. You'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. That's it. Calmly. There you are.
Oops. Oh wow, there's like quadruplets here, or triplets at least. Look at them, facial hair and everything. Supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. Uh, no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Whoa, damn. I just bumped into them and caused them to awesome to, to <laughs> divide into two different versions of the same kid. That was unnerving. Anyway, so what's next on the to do to uh, progress tracker? All right, so we have two EV missions that we can do. EV down here, EV up here, train over here. Go down here first. Actually, wait, which one's first? Is it Lady in the Lamp or the other one? Uh, technically, 
Lady with the lamp. That's what I thought I remembered. So let's let's go down here first. Big matrix glitch. Yeah. on me oh well oh well we have returned back to the asylum hello Clara little Clara day Miss Fry what a pleasant surprise hello Clara I was just going to check on Lambeth since the asylum's closing what brings you here? The children in my care have been falling ill. Our usual tonics aren't working. A cane, too. <laughs> Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, miss. Clara! Is there a doctor nearby? Bring her inside. She simply collapsed. Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> this one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have much time. Has there ever been an Assassin's Creed title where the assassin themselves was trapped in a simulation by the Isu? I'm going to say yes. There has been. But not the assassin you think. And not the game you think. So actually it's happened technically a couple of times. Where the where an assassin was trapped in a simulation. Um... So the first time, it wasn't by the Isu, but the first time it happened where they were trapped was, of course, Desmond in Assassin's Creed Revelations. Um, where he got trapped because he was not doing well, essentially. But a version that, there is a version that exists that is explicitly what you say, or what you asked about. Um, and uh, we'll get there. We haven't gotten there yet. We get, we'll get there. I won't say more than that, uh, cause it's spoilers, but we'll get there. Um, although I, I am technically stretching the word, the, the meaning of the word trapped, to be fair. Technically, I'm stretching the word trapped. Uh, basically once you're in it, you can't exit it, but you do choose to go in it. Um, type of a thing. But yes, Florence Nightingale, everybody. Out of go. Come on.
No, 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 no. It's just that it's so expensive. Well, the ingredients are. No, there! Stop! Fuck the pharmaceutical companies. Fuck the police and fuck capitalism. Faster! Come on! Come on! Move it! Faster! Come on! Move it! Yvonne, let's see if you can guess where my mind went. Um, but basically, that's exactly we we both know that that's exactly how she treats Henry too. Easy go. Supplies are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded up. With her cane. On the cart. Please take them. Get up! You mean that cart? Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile. Yvonne, in response to your stop, I shan't. Here now. Come on. That's it. Easy now. Not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Papillonelli, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry. Now, I want to point something out here about a very important difference between Jacob and Evie. The only reason Elliotson and Lambeth and, all, and the children were in this situation was because Jacob swooped in, killed Elliotson, laughed his ass off, and moved on without any kind of thought about what that means for anyone or an anything like that. Evie absolutely is coming in and cleaning up her brother's fucking mess. 
And if it had been Evie from the start, granted, she does have her own problems because she never would have taken Evie as she is, never would have taken, never would have gotten into this mess in the first place. She would have just kept her nose in the books, looking at, looking for the piece of Eden. And that things would have gotten so much worse if e Jacob hadn't taken action. But if Evie had been prompted to act taking action, she absolutely would have done it right from the get-go and made sure that something was in place to prevent what has happened from happening. The Crow's Elixir. Alright. Evie's Notebook. Dr. Elliotson is dead, and with it goes the production of Steric Soothing Syrup, which, Soothing Syrup, de canonically was absolute trash. The patent medicine of choice, patent medicine of choice, patent, patent, whatever, medicine of choice in London. Jacob is justifiably proud of the end of one of Carrick's oh my god Crawford Sterick's principal revenue streams not to mention the death of one of his chief supporters unfortunately for us that was not the end of the story I visited Lambeth to find that things had not settled as we had hoped they would instead in the absence of the syrup people were turning to other tonics some of them little more than tinted water others with less savory ingredients. Meanwhile, medicine, real medicine, was being stolen and sold to the highest bidder. Clara O'Day and several of her children fell ill and might not have pulled through, but for my intervention and the care of Miss Florence Nightingale. Bringing, bringing a cure to Clara and a cure to the borough at large are two very different things, so further action is required. Mr. Green assisted me in rooting out the thieves hoarding medical supplies. Jacob was nowhere to be found. I have reported some of the uh, to, some of the culprits to Mr. Aberline for the police to deal with. The rest we have seen to ourselves. I have also put some of of the assassins' money towards Miss Nightingale's efforts to create better sanitation regulations, which she assures me will help stall the spread of disease better than any tonic, however effective. I have no small delight in being able to count the famed Lady of the Lamp as an acquaintance, although our first meeting was under unpleasant circumstances. All right. How are we doing that? Man, it's, it's key to remember that Steric Soothing Syrup was merely a placebo, um, but it was not unhealthy. It just didn't actually cure anything. <clears throat> um, and... Come on, there you go. Um, oh, I should have gone here. Oh, anyway. But also, leaving that vacuum meant a lot more shit sucked in. They saw me. Fine.
to thank our esteemed guests. So the hints you found in the Kenway House lead to the monument. What a wonderful use of your time, following me around, asking obvious questions. Well, since Henry isn't here, I thought you might enjoy the company. I don't require any company, and Mr. Green is following up on some leads of his own. Oh, yes, Mr. Green. That's a fascinating idea. Oh, please, Mr. Green, come and take a look at this book and stand oh so close to me, Mr. Green. I do not. Well, perhaps you have nothing better to do, but I'm busy protecting the assassins. Are you really? What was it Father used to say? Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. Precisely. Anyway, I'm off. If I find any more wild geese for you to chase, I'll be in touch. Be ever more pleasant for your absence. Please, show some respect for our guests. Our new proposal will ensure that these stunned will be safer, with better, safer housing, sanitation facilities, and less open places. What a rabbit! You sound like a bunch of children! You are being very ungrateful! Do you really want to keep living in your state? He's rather incessant sometimes, Jacob? You mean all of the time? We are gathered here at the monument to the Great Fire in an effort to ensure so great a tragedy will never happen again. I would like to thank our esteemed guests, the Right Honorable Senator City. You have a present day now. This looks familiar. Form a leap of faith into a haystack while on a zip line. Am I not high enough for it to be a leap of faith? I don't know. Maybe there's a specific spot.
Rude for that. Rude for not giving it to me just because it, ha it needs to be higher. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I can see that. mechanic they threw in and so it's a mechanic they want you to know it that you can do and they want you to be able to do it at least once if you feel like it there's a reason why it's not a requirement to complete the game just a requirement for 100 synchronization you know But like, I do fully agree that they could have, you know, been a bit chiller with it. All right, so there is a thingy right below me. Now the question is this, can I? There we go. There we go. Had to find the right spot and the right combination of buttons. Because what I did before was I just dropped into it. I didn't do the combination of buttons you're supposed to do for the leap of faith. itself okay oh 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 okay This wheel doesn't have the three dots, so 60, 69 looking thing on both of them, which then makes this unfortunately not the right thing. Triangle on this one, D on this one. This one doesn't have the three dots. Oh, it does have the three dots. And then... <laughs> it wasn't the puzzle I thought it was going to be. Top. All right. Now, I'm going to be right back because I have to run to the bathroom. Don't go anywhere, y'all.
Okay, I'm back, and I know it's on ad break. I'll read Andy's notebook in a bit. So, yeah, I'm back. Um, Evie's Notebook, Entry 4. There are so many things to relate, I hardly know where to start. It has been equal parts triumph and failure. It seems that the piece of Eden that Miss Thorne is seeking is... Oops. Is a Shroud of Eden, which the assassins recovered at some point before they left London. Where that shroud is, or why Miss Thorne seeks it, is st are still a mystery. I found a series of directions that pointed to a hidden vault within Kenway with the, within the Kenway house. It was once owned by Edward Kenway, a master assassin, and then passed to his son Haytham, a Templar Grand Master. One can only imagine the family dinners. After the Kenway's time, the mansion passed out of our history, or so we thought. I traveled there accompanied by Mr. Green, only to find that the house is still being occupied by the Templars. Indeed, it seems Miss Thorne has made it her principal place of business, for we saw her enter as we arrived. I determined to enter in any case, avoiding a direct confrontation if at all possible. We found Edward Kenway's hidden vault, a secret that has managed to remain hidden for more than a century. Uh, rather unfortunately, Edward Kenway's method of concealing a vault involved a player piano that alerted the guards to our presence. Mr. Green and I had the barest amount of time to look around and see the treasures hidden within before we had to flee. I came away with a single piece of paper and a metal disc. That sounds like very little, I know. However, the paper itself tells us the story of the London assassins before they were wiped out. Several bolt holes are mentioned, any one of them, uh, any one of which might contain valuable information about our history. And the disc promises to unlock a key, a precursor object, hidden somewhere in London. How strange the phrase, to unlock a key. I wonder if it is an attempt at a joke on Kenway's part, given the player piano. I have a low opinion. Given the player piano, I have a low opinion of his sense of humor. He had a hell of a sense of humor. Uh, we shall have to return to the Kenway mansion at a later time to deal with the Templars in a more final manner and reclaim the rest of the artifacts inside. In the meantime, the information I recovered uh, points to the disc being a piece of the monument. So I am headed there to discover what secrets it might hold. Jacob has arrived and seems determined to accompany me, though I have not invited him. I wrote that before I thought I should say we, for Mr. Green was there as well, and we are often together. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why is this the canon we exist in?
hit the wrong button. The key to the vault and the shroud. Good day, Miss Fry. I'll take that. You and Shroud to cement your own power. But what if you cannot control it? And why do you want the Shroud? Merely to keep the Templars from having it. How like an assassin. To hold the power of eternal life, and yet be too afraid to use it. Eternal life? Is that what you think the Shroud offers? What I think is no longer your concern. <laughs> Coming with me? I have other plans. <laughs> Damn it! Increases throwing knife capacity, like basically a throwable capacity. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna try something here. Then colors. Oh. Wine. Oh, black. Yvonne. <laughs> now, I will say that black is more her color you know well i was gonna get all the flowers anyway but you know uh i feel like black is more her color obviously because it fits the actual vibe of the thing but i do want to ask your opinion so this is the default outfit right which is the one she canonically wears throughout the entire time right so there's that one then there's this one and no, I can't spin her around. Um, but then there's this one. Which I just unlocked. There's also this one, which I'll unlock eventually. Um, it's a mission reward, I think, for completing the game. Um, and then there's... No. This one. Which is a DLC item. Well technically DLC item. It's a Ubisoft U Ubisoft reward thing. And this one. And then this one. We stand a goth queen. Look at all that lace work on this one. 
like around the hood and the details the fact that it's not just solid lace or solid fabric you know they actually made it transparent Also, look at how look how massive the assassin gauntlet is on her versus her in her fucking arm. Like it's always been that massive. It's just it's so much more noticeable on that one. Right? <laughs> Like, okay, hold on, let me equip this and then swap over to the assassin gauntlets real quick. Look at that. Look at how much of her arm, like, that thing has got to be rattling around on her wrist, you know? This thing is so freaking loose on her. And yes, this outfit is doing the most for someone who is supposed to be stealth. Um, and the reason for that is it's themed after Dracula. There might be padding in it. There probably is padding in it. But um, it's themed after Dracula. And it's a uh, balance to um, Jacob's outfit that is themed after Frankenstein's monster. Um, they're both, these were both uh, either DLC or Ubisoft Club unlocks. I don't remember which. As was this one and this one. This one based on generic uh, steampunky type stuff or something specific in steampunk. Um, and this one, I forget what this one was based off of. But anyway. But yeah, you like this one? Yeah, we'll swap to her, this one for now. I might swap back to, I might swap back to this one eventually. Just because it's, you know, her. With the Dracula quote, fair. Can I swap to Jacob? I can swap to Jacob. So, since we're since we're done with the stream anyway, um, this one's his initial one, and then he swaps to this one. But this one is also one of his. Um, and then there's this one, which he get, which uh, you unlock in the course of the game. I have already unlocked it because I've already beaten the game, basically. Um, he also has a Sherlock Holmes themed one. And then this is his equivalent of her Dr. Daniels one, I believe. I think this one might be in connection to the Nighthawk. And this one is is for the Dr. her Dr. Daniels outfit one. Um, and then here's the creature's rags from Frankenstein. Oh, and here's Dr. Daniel's garments. Garment. So the suave out, his suave outfit is the match to her Nighthawk one. Uh, this one is the creature's rags, which is the knock to her Dracula one. Dr. Daniel's garments, which is, you know, her, her, uh, steampunk voltaic one. Um... But yeah, he only gets two of the ones from previous games where she gets several of them. Instead, he gets this one and this one. But yeah, anyway. Wait. Now nah, we'll swap to that one. Firearm damage for now. Oh, so, hold on. Inventory cape. So, with... See here. Uh... What level are we? Level 8, right. So it would have to be this one. Yeah, that shawl cape does not... It does go with, more with this. Um, than the others. However, I have to unlock it before we can use it. So, anyway. 
Anyway, enough of my dilly dallying. Um, let me get up and fast travel back to the trying. That's not the trying. Where's the trying? Trying. Trying. Um, and then we'll call it a night. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. Now, I do want to take a second, Yvonne. Are you there? This is what it looks like in the actual world. Hood up. Can I die it? I can, yes. Uh ones I have available at the moment are violet, fuchsia, green, gold, which doesn't even look gold. It looks more uh, like a different shade of green, um, teal, and Ubisoft blue. Um, once I get the flowers, then I'll have access to midnight blue, black, steel gray, and crimson. And then once I complete all of the Karl Marx memories, I'll have wine. They might like the wine a bit better because it's got the gold-ish accents, you know, rather than just the black accents or the gray accents. But now I can, I have enough money. I could purchase forest green taupe beige and beige and blue When I get it, steel gray or black. Yeah, okay. Probably what I'll do is I'll wear the black one for as long as I can. Uh, now, ultimately, I will be... I will say this. It's not going to be the one I, fi I wear finally. Um, because once I unlock this one, that's the one she'll be wearing. But there is the secret item, which you get for completing the uh, gathering mission of um collecting all the music boxes and that's the one that i'm going to be wearing once i have it um but anyway all right enough of my dilly dallying thank you all for tuning in and hanging out thank you all for for uh bearing with me and my ridiculousness in the in this series um that, but that's it from me for the night. Before we head out, you should absolutely check out Yvonne B and my other friends. Um, who you should all check out. They're all amazing. I have even more recommendations in that link tree below. And speaking of that link tree, uh, it's where you can... If you go to that link tree, it's also... Surprise, surprise! Where you can find... M where else you can find me. That, that, that makes sense, I promise. Um, <clears throat> like you can find my socials and my Discord and my YouTube and all that wonderful shit. Um... Also, you can find a link to my Patreon, which is also on screen right here. Patreon.com slash Crimson Knight. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, if you go there, you can support me and uh, help me continue to make content or help maybe even make my content better. 
But uh, it's not a requirement. It's just if you feel like it. You know, I won't hold it against you either way. I love you all no matter what. And on that note, that's it for me for the night again. And uh, well, tomorrow, come back tomorrow because we're starting the final Tomb Raider game. Well, the most recent Tomb Raider game. Well, the most recent Tomb Raider game that's not a remaster or a mobile game. Um, yeah, we're starting Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, I'm excited. I hope you are all excited as well, but that'll be tomorrow at the same bat time, same bat channel. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, in the meantime, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe. Love yourselves and love everyone around you, and I'll see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.